only on WMTW News 8 this evening. Yesterday, we told you about three men who've come forward claiming sexual abuse at the hands of a former Biddeford police officer. Well, this evening, another man is telling his story to WMTW News 8's David Charnes, claiming sexual abuse at the hands of another retired officer. And David is here now with those details. David. And Steve, Larry Willett of Biddeford claims this officer sexually assaulted him when he was a teenager. He says the abuse began when he was in high school, and he says he was interviewed by authorities years ago after filing a complaint. But Willett says no charges were ever filed. He met the officer through a job he held in high school, and that's when he says this abuse occurred. This is not the same retired officer who we told you about first in March, and where three alleged victims have now come forward. Yesterday, we shared Rick Alexander's story about that retired officer. He filed a complaint with the AG's office. No charges filed either. Today, another alleged victim of that officer, Matt Lozon, and his attorney say they are pursuing their own investigation. This is not a lawsuit, and they are not pressing charges. Now, the Attorney General's office is investigating, and they'll do their part to determine whether they can, at this point, bring criminal charges. Um, our job here is to do a parallel investigation to find out as much as we can um, in an effort to get as many people to come forward, either as victims or witnesses, uh, about uh, what they know about what happened. Biddeford police have not commented on any of these cases. Today, the chief told us in a statement, quote, the city of Biddeford cannot confirm or deny that the attorney general's office has undertaken in the past or currently is conducting a criminal investigation. He goes on to say the city of Biddeford also cannot comment on personnel matters involving current or former employees. A spokesman for the AG's office says his office cannot confirm nor deny the existence of any investigation. He adds they cannot comment on private investigations either. For now, live in the studio, I'm David Charns, WMTW News 8.